now the guys. So it's not a fat bob. Yeah, I got it. Um, I'll explain in a few videos why, etc. But nothing wrong with the bike. Uh, it's just me and how bikes suit me. This is uh, much better. I like gadgets, I'll be honest. Uh, this is good. Anyway, so um, I'm quite tall. I'm 6'2", I think, ish. Centimeters, feet, all that sort of stuff confuses me. Um, and when the screen is at its highest level, uh, if I just do that, it's a lot more comfortable when I'm sat like that. Um, and I do a lot of mileage, so you know, I've been to Scotland a couple of times already, and I've only had it three weeks. Um, and I live in West Yorkshire, so you know, I've been doing some 300 mile in a day rides. Um, it makes a big difference having a screen um, that I'm kind of probably changing something that I don't need to change. Anyway, I'll put the part number and everything in the description. Uh, but what I wanted to do was put this video up. I'll show you how to fit it. It's four bolts. It's a screen. I know you don't need that. But also, I'll give you the comparison. Um, I'll keep the camera exactly where it is on a tripod for a before and after. So you can, and I'll try and overlay the two so you can see exactly what the difference is. Um, and this is on its highest setting. I'll put the screen all the way up. Um, right, so I'll get cracking. This is a five mil Allen bolt. Um, you take these off. There's, Puig screen I bought comes with um, four rubber washers, bushes, whatever you want to call them. Um, they go on behind this uh, Allen bolt. So you have Allen bolt, screen, rubber washer, tighten it up, done. So it looks really easy. So here's the screen, a bit wider and a bit taller. It does have a Puig sticker there that will come off easy, obviously the protective sticker, so it is actually a clear screen. There is a little bit of a sticker there which will come off, so pretty simple. Then these are the bits that you get, obviously the sticker and then these four little rubber washers. Now there are some on there already which um, you might be able to just see. Um, I'm probably going to leave them on, you know, they're not looking too good but they're not in the way so double up why not so I'm putting on one of the, these are the original bolts and then that goes through the screen and then that goes behind and then it threads into it. So you have to do it quite loose, otherwise you'll be able to get behind the screen to get this little grommet washer thing. So that's just finger tight, you know, when, it, when it makes contact, I'm just gonna do that all the way around so that it's centered. In the description I'll post a link to a couple of documents um, that come with it and these I'll, uh, I'll just show quickly on camera. One of them is quite interesting, obviously there's the manual and all that stuff, but there's this one which it shows the uh, aerodynamics. Now whether this is something they're testing in a wind tunnel or not, obviously I can't test to that, but it shows um, the difference um, in the lowest setting. So they had a twin tunnel test, they didn't show it in the highest setting, I'm not sure why it tells you here. Um, and it tells you it was tested at 150 kilometers an hour, which is 94 miles an hour, which is pretty good, but why they didn't test it lower, I don't know. Um, the numbers, if you look in the description, you'll see a link to my site where I host this. Um, the helmet protection increases um, from 60 to 95%, upper body from 90 to 100%, and lower body's already 100%, so can't increase that. There we go, so. I'll probably end this video here and then I'll just post another link up to another video of taking it out for a ride and let you know what it's like.